Hello wonderful viewers, welcome once again to this online class. In today's class, we want to solve an exponential question and it is coming from jump pass question. Now, looking at this question, the first thing you have to do is to expand. But before I expand, let me quickly remind us that in indices, let's say you have 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 3. It simply means 2 raised to power 2 plus 3. Good. So, now, if you now have 2 raised to power n multiplied by 2 raised to power 1, what it simply means is 2 raised to power n plus 1. And also, if it is 2 raised to power n times 2 raised to power minus 1, what you have eventually is 2 raised to power n uh, plus minus 1. And that's going to give you 2 raised to power n minus 1. All right, so what I'm trying to say in essence is that this simply means this. Why this simply means this. So that's what you have to know first. Now, the, the first thing I'm going to do is to expand. So let me quickly expand this. Now, I'm going to say 3 multiply by what you have in the bracket. And don't forget what you have in the bracket is... 2 raised to power n multiplied by 2 raised to power 1. So this has replaced this. Then we have minus 4 multiplied by this. And don't forget this simply means 2 raised to power n multiplied by 2 raised to power minus 1. All right, good. That's it. That's for the numerator. For the denominator, this, don't forget, it simply means 2 raised to power n multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 minus 2 raised to power n. That's very good. That's the first step. For the second step, now we are going to factorize. I'm going to factor out 2 raised to power n. You can see that 2 raised to power n is common at, at both sides. It's here, it's at this side, and it's also at this side. So if you look at the it here, you, also, you see that 2 raised to power n is common as both sides. So in that case, I'm going to bring it out. 2 raised to power n. Then, in the bracket, I'm going to have 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 minus, at this side, I'm going to have 4 multiplied by 2 raised to power minus 1. That's for the numerator. For the denominator, 2 raised to power n is also common here, so I'm, I'm going to bring it out. So, for this side, I'm going to have 2 raised to power 1 minus 1. You notice that 2 raised to power n is also common. So, I factor it out. So, 2 raised to power n is outside. And here, we have 2 raised to power 1. So, that means 2 raised to power n times 2 raised to power 1 is this. And 2 raised to power n times minus 1 will give you minus 2 raised to power n. So that's how to factorize it. Then I cannot proceed. Now looking at this now, that means outside the bracket I'm, I'm having 2 raised to power n. Then in the bracket, 3 times 2 raised to power 1 is going to give me 6. So I'm going to have 6 minus... Now, let's take a look at this. When I say 2 raised to the power minus 1, 2 raised to the power minus 1 in indices simply means 1 over 2. So in that case, this one simply means 4 times 1 over 2. And when you say 4 times 1 over 2, this simply means 4 over 2. And 4 over 2 is what? 2. So in that case, this will not be 2. 4 times 2 raised to the power minus 1 gives us what? 2. Very good. All over 2 raised to the power n. Then 2 raised to the power 1, that's 2, minus 1. Now, when you look at this now, we have 2 raised to the power n, then 6 minus 2, 4, then 2 raised to the power n, 2 minus 1, 1. Now, we have 2 raised to the power n in common, so I'm going to, they are going to cancel out each other. Then, 
I will be left with 4 over 1. So, which simply means my final answer is what? 4. So, the final answer to this question is 4. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you again in my next video.